Oh. Oh my god. <gasps> Welcome to The Worst Hotel, the show that checks into the worst rated hotels to find out if they're really that bad. Today we're going to Birmingham, the Norfolk Hotel in Birmingham no less, a hotel with 1.5 stars on TripAdvisor, I'm going to say from 598 reviews. Perfect for meth addicts, one night stands and CSI trainees. And this person gave it 5 stars, so technically they're actually, it's probably less than 1.5 stars because it's got 5 stars. If I could put a zero rating, I would. What a shambles of a hotel. The best haunted house experience I've ever had. This hotel is possibly the most horrific experience I've ever had to endure. Let me walk you through what happened when we went to stay. You're through to Norfolk Inn Hotel, boasting 169 ensuite rooms and a host of crew. Oh. Hello? Hiya. I'm wondering if you've got any reservations for a twin room tomorrow night? Just bear with me, let me have a look for you, sir. Just for the one night, yeah? Yes, please. Worst budget, last minute hotel I've ever booked and stayed in. Room dirty, decor in need of repair, windows don't stay closed, and no locks. Stains on carpet, curtains hanging off rails, broken toilet seat, shower water trickled, and smell of damp. And I've just given these people my credit card details. <laughs> I'm feeling quite positive, to be honest. I've never been to Birmingham before. I don't know Birmingham, so uh, all in all, it's kind of got to go right. I still hold out hope that we might get there and it actually be alright. I'm a bit more excited to have like the full hotel experience. Speak for yourself. Oh, he looks quite good from the outside! Oh my god, there's a security guard though. I'm nervous now. The first thing you noticed when you stood at the reception desk was there was two screens which must each have had about 25 to 30 different cameras on, on each one. So the whole place is covered in CCTV. The reception area is kind of like, it was a big expanse of space but only the very forward bit was actually used. The rest of it was just empty. One corner of it just was full of old knackered furniture. Press the button for the left and Oh. <laughs> we walk out the lift and there was kind of immediately a bit of a smell. It's an interesting smell. Fresh paint and salad. And the artwork on the walls was odd, but all in all, like, it didn't seem too bad at this point. Get to our room, walk through the door. Mate! This is all right. <laughs> It wasn't horrific. It was all right. Is it wrong that I'm slightly disappointed? I am quite disappointed. <laughs> Look at it. There were two things that could have happened here. It was either going to be all right like this, or it was going to be hell. Let's have a little look around. We asked for a twin. We have two beds. The furniture is all right. I mean, it's all the, the walls are a bit shabby and stuff. This is maybe some better days. Don't know what's going on there. Telly on the wall. Didn't have one of them in Blackpool. Looks all right, doesn't it? House of Orchard shampoo. Doesn't look like the newest thing in the world. I'd shower there. Me too. Easily. Bit of broken thing. I mean, we're nitpicking here. This is like, this is all right. Can you hear that sound that the TV is making? Yeah. Hey Luke, do you fancy a uh, look out the window? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh God, the mattresses. Oh my God. Is this a brand new mattress? No, it's, it's plastic. It's plastic, it's <laughs> proof. Then we got out the black light. Oh. Oh my God. <gasps> <laughs> it works. Oh, what could that possibly be? Oh my god, what is that down there? Oh no. <laughs> I'm glad it works. To be fair, I reckon even if you went in any of those massive branded hotels, you'd still find if you shone a black light at half the stuff in there, that it's going to be minging. There's 160 something rooms in this hotel. So I definitely feel like we're in the good end, and there's actually around us a whole lot of shit. So the challenge now is we're going to have to go and find out what else is in this building? 
So we walk down the stairs and the stairwell for starters is horrible. Get to the bottom of the stairs, walk out the door and immediately in front of us where the lift is, there is just a pile, an, an actual pile of sick. <laughs> Nobody had attempted to clean it up. Somebody's been sick and they've put a wet thing above it. Come back from getting some food about two hours later, walk back into the hotel and the pile of sick was still there. It had been there for two hours. Right, so this is then where it gets quite exciting. So Luke and I decided that we needed to go on a bit of an exploration of the rest of this hotel. You look down every corridor and at the end of each corridor there's a CCTV camera. So I'm there like, I'll go with this, but at some point we're getting thrown out of this hotel. It was like a hotel of two halves. So the bit that we were in was all right. However, the other side of the hotel, it was like paints peeling off the walls, the bathrooms are minging. One bathroom we walked in was just rank. Yeah. There was one floor which was just absolutely reeked of smoke and it all had this weird feeling about it. All the doors were much grubbier, the carpets were much older. Like it clearly hadn't been touched in years and years and years. You smell the cigarette smoke. Yeah. Lots of strange creaky doors and weird staircases. It also went on, didn't it? It was, there was like a rabbit warren of a place. Still, we got round it all, we had a look at it all, we were nosy at it all, but still nothing happened. There's a bigger question that remains. Who's on the double? Who's in the single? One, two, three. <sighs> we started getting ready for bed and the room's boiling hot. The radiator's not on, but the room's boiling hot and you can't open the window because there's a bloody extractor fan outside it. Night, babes. Night, babes. To be honest, I can't hear anything through this glass. Just putting my ear on a glass. So it's just 10 midnight. And all we can hear is the one having fun next door. I feel like she's giving him instructions. I feel like she's giving him more encouragement than he deserves. <laughs> I've had worse nights sleeping by. I've been woken up quite a few times. There's been people running down the corridor at heaven only knows what time. Some form of industrial fans started going outside the windows, so they had to be shut. We heard some people having sex next door. However, as it is, we booked a hotel room and it's all right. So this has been a real highlight. It's a real nice view. Oh my God. I think that's just a great big do you remember that man being sick in the middle of the night? They had sexy time. <laughs> and then they were sick. <laughs> I think that's it for the uneventful. This is not the worst hotel in Birmingham. Or if it is, Birmingham, bloody nice. That's a stretch. That is definitely a stretch. It's gone. It's sort of gone. It's the most hastily mopped up thing I've ever seen. Oh, that's ridiculous. If you went in totally blind, you paid that money and you expected that hotel to be you fine. You would be disappointed. You'd be disappointed. I don't think you'd be disappointed to the level that the reviews that we've seen were. I agree with that. I don't think it's that bad. That was it. It was largely uneventful. It was a bit odd. It was a bit grubby. But I would... Oh, this is bold. I would stay in that hotel again. Somebody somewhere is obviously trying to make an effort to try and make this place better than it is. Yeah, two and a half stars. I think two and a half stars is fair. Oh my God, can I say it? What? Back to the studio. <sighs> That's not getting used. <laughs> Such a weird hotel. I'm glad I'm no longer anywhere near that sick. 
Um, if you love this week's episode, please like and subscribe so that you see next week's episode when it comes out and leave us a comment down below of the worst hotel you've ever stayed in because you never know, we might go and stay. I'll see you next week in another hideous hotel. <laughs>